Nick, well, I guess a lot of people are looking at this as kind of a, a grudge match of, of sorts. So is this an emotional fight for you? All, all fights for me are emotional. You know, I put everything I have into this. I, my whole life was fighting. Got fighting in my family. Those are the two most important things to me. So if anyone gets in the way of that, I'm gonna hurt him. I'm gonna hurt him bad. I'm gonna hurt Charles tomorrow. Is this a little different because of the history that's there between you guys? No, nah, man. The only thing different about this is that you're gonna see how much I've changed in the last, you know, four or whatever years. You know, I was a completely different fighter then. I had enormous talent, but I didn't get to the point. Like, I didn't have the right coaching. I didn't have the right people to, to mold that talent, you know? I was a talent from the beginning, but I had no technique. Now I got all the technique, so I'm, I'm, I'm a dangerous man. How much do you think about his weight and whether or not he's going to make it or not? You know, it doesn't matter. The first time, like, I, I heard that he might come in a little heavy. He came in, like, six pounds heavy or something, you know, pretty, pretty a lot. But I, I was prepared for that this time. He can come in at 170 if he wants. I mean, if we could, I, I would gentleman degree him right now. I'll fight him whatever way he is right now. But that's not as against the rules. You know, the UFC's professional. They like to do that. But I'm up for whatever. Did you, did you fight, did, did, sorry, did you watch the first fight at all during your training camp for, for, for this fight and the last one? I'll tell you a secret. I was there. So I remember very clearly. But yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I watch all my old fights and I kind of got to watch with one eye because I see all the mistakes I used to make. I see all the things I used to get away with just being strong or just being, you know, have a good chin or whatever. I, I, it, it's hard for me to watch those fights just because I see what a waste of talent I was back in the day. Now you watch my fights completely different human being, um, 20,000 times better. And, you know, I hope, I hope he thinks he's in for that same fight that he had before. Do you, do you see Charles as a better fighter now? Yeah, of course. Of course, everyone gets better staying in the UFC that long, but he hasn't improved as much as I have, and he's not on my level. It's the third time here in Brazil, and your first two fights, you won both Brazilian guys. So, and I think just you and maybe few dates did that. So, yeah. what's the secret, you know, to not get involved for the crowns and uh, all these things, all the fight against a Brazilian or here in Brazil? You know, it's one thing to hurt a guy, to win a fight in your hometown, and hear the crowd hear the crowd roar, right? There's nothing better than making 20,000 people go silent, and I'm going to do that.